Welcome back, everybody. Happy Championship NASCAR Sunday. Today, you know, of course, is the last day or last race of the year out at Phoenix to decide the NASCAR Cup Series champion. Yesterday's Xfinity race was pretty exciting. Not going to give any spoilers there. But however, today we're going to open up this uh, repack box or package or envelope or whatever you want to call it. Um, not real sure what you call it. Got it at the flea market, uh, I think it was last week. Or no, the antique mall a couple weeks ago. Last last Sunday when we went out and did a lot of shopping and running and going. So it was $9.99. It's got stars and autograph and it says autograph. So I imagine it's going to be another in person. I don't anticipate any uh, certified autograph, which I'm fine with. Don't always have to have a certified autograph for it to be a good one. You get the scissors out and cut the... Because they did a good job of sealing it, so... And I'm sure they didn't want people getting in there, rooting it around, and pulling out the good cards and whatnot. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do this the same way we did it the other day. I'll have them right here, right below the camera, and we're going to look at them. Got a 96 Max Odyssey of Richard Petty. A 95 action pack to Jeff Gordon and a 91 tracks uh, season review or race review of Dale Earnhardt. There you see the backs of them. Very nice cards there. Our next one looks like a 98 Road to the Cup, Bobby Hamilton. Then a uh, 93 Rookie Thunder, Doug Cooper. And another Road to the Cup, I believe this one's 97, of Steve Grissom. There you see the backs of them, Grissom. There you see the back of the Hamilton and the Cooper. We have a 91 Tom Peck card, 91 Max, 95 Action Pack Stars, or Winston, yeah, it's Action Pack Stars, Brett Bodine, and a 92 Max Red of Sterling Marlin, so a couple nice cards there. Next one on the list is a, this is actually an insert from Finish Line Racing 95, I can't remember what set it is, that's a 93 Press Pass, that's the first year Press Pass came out, and there you see a 93. Three or 94 Max Premier Plus of Bobby Labonte. Let's see here, that's okay. It's Victory Lane. I thought that's what it was. It was a Victory Lane insert. There's the press pass, the backs of them. Uh, 93. And you see the numbers are really difficult to read on those little checkered flags. There's the 93 press pass, and there's the back of the 94. So we have another, uh, I believe that's 97 uh, Upper Deck Road to the Cup, another racer or rookie. Wheels Rookie Thunder from 93, Walter Ballard, and Chad Little, 97, Road to the Cup by Upper Deck. So there's the backs of the cards. Next up, we have Jim Phillips, who's a long time with the Motor Racing Network. Then I believe that's Shane Hall, uh, 1995 Max Top 5 of 2005 insert, and a 1992 Max Red of Michael Waltrip. You see the and each of the top five cards from the '95 set. Benny Parsons kind of gave you a preview, and there were five drivers. I know Bobby Labonte was in it. Ricky Craven. Well, we've we seen Shane Hall. I believe it was Toby Butler and David Hutto, maybe. And it was five drivers they predicted to be big stars by 2005. Well, Ricky Craven had already retired pretty much due to injury, and then Bobby Labonte was on his way. His trajectory was on its way down as he was in his last season driving for Joe Gibbs. Um, there you see Michael Waltrip, the back of the 92 Red Max. And the other three just kind of never, their careers never really took off. So there's uh, Brett Bodine again. This is a, a nice 93 press pass. Uh, 94 action packed maybe, 93, 94. There's a 95 upper deck, the first year upper deck got into racing. So let's see here, this is, and these are hard, yeah, 90, it's actually 93, and this one's a 94, and then a 95 of Chuck Bound. Of course, Chuck Bound had a pretty bad crash at Pocono in 1994 that kind of derailed his career for a while. Then we have some, looks like a crew chief here, uh, Jim Long, 94 Max, this would be a Series 2 card, 97 Road to the Cup, Ernie Irvin, and Rich Bickle, 1993 Wheels Rookie Thunder. Of course, Rich was one of the rookie contenders back in 93, I believe. One of the many. We have J.C. Elder, Jake Elder. 
longtime crew chief, 91 max. Another, I believe this is 98 Road to the Cup, but I can't remember, 97, 98. And then a 95 Max Series 2, Bobby Hamilton. Let's see what that is. I always get the I Road to the Cups and Victory Circles. That was a 97 on that Hamilton. We have a nice Ricky Red Victory Lane card. I think I have a couple of these. Again, that's that 95 Press Pass or 94 Press Pass Finish Line, whatever you want to call it. So many different card sets back then. 94 Max Series 2, Jeff Bodine celebrates his win in the All-Star Race. And Gary Nelson, who at the time was crew chief for Kyle Petty, but later became uh, one of the head NASCAR officials. So got some nice cards there. Another 97 Upper Deck Road to the Cup, Bobby Labonte. 93 Press Pass, Kyle Petty. And a 93 Wheels Rookie Thunder, Shorty Rollins, who was in fact, I believe, the first Rookie of the Year in NASCAR. Then we have we have an electric silver electric of Ted Musgrave upper deck put parallels in their in their uh, sets back then, so the electric was a series two. If it was a series one, it would be a silver signature. Uh, Rob Moroso there getting sideways in 1991 Max, and there's the car Chuck Bowne was driving in 1994 that he got injured. This is 95, but he did not return to that team after his injuries. We have Elmo Langley, former pace car driver, 92 Red Max. We have 97 Upper Deck Road to the Cup again. Morgan Shepard, who drove part of the season in that car. And 94, I believe that's 94, Action Pack Sterling Marlin. Let's look again, because like some of the early Action Packs are hard for me to tell apart to. Yes, it is 1994. So then we have uh, next up, Mark Martin, 93 finish line. And this was the, I believe finish line had purchased the assets of Pro Set when they went... Uh, belly up, 97 Road to the Cup, and 93 Wheels Rookie Thunder, Jody Ridley. I still have a box of 93 Wheels Rookie Thunder, but we're not going to open that one. Uh, Howard Poston, I believe he worked for Hendrick, but I can't remember yet. I see the Hendrick logo on his uh, shirt there, 91 Max, 97 Upper Deck, and 93 Max. First time we've seen a 93 Max here today. Next up, we have, I believe it's Ed, Chuck, Chuck Romeo, former NASCAR official, a 93, or 93 press pass of Harry Gant. And this is one of my favorite cards. This was actually inside the preview set that you purchased. It was a, kind of a header card. It was a, a nice uh, Davey Allison card. Looks like we got a couple autographs coming up. Awesome. A couple of nice ones. Looky there. Looks like Mark Martin. Very nice. We have this really nice Richard Petty uh, 20th anniversary. Danny, you might be interested in that one. Look at this, a Terry Labonte autograph from 93 Action Pack. Those are really nice. Get those sleeved up and put off to the side. He had, uh, that's a, Winston Motorsports came out with a 20th anniversary set, I believe, in 91. Yeah, 91. Pretty nice little set. We'll set that one off to the side. We have uh, Kyle Petty, Pat Strickland, 97, Upper Deck Road to the Cup, 93, Jeff Bodine. Of course, he was the first driver for Hendrick Motorsports in the five car. And Kyle Larson is coming back and, and, and uh, reviving that number next year with Hendrick Motorsports. Kyle Petty, 95, Upper Deck, Series 2, Electric. Norman Koshimishu, who is a former gas man for uh, Robert Yates Racing. Apparently the truck driver, too. I don't know. I don't remember him being the truck driver. And 95 Max Series 2, Steve Grissom. We're almost to the end today, so uh, got about eight more to go. 93 or 94 Max Premier Plus, Michael Waltrip. 92 Max Red, Doyle Ford. And 93 Max, I'm sorry, 93 Press Pass, Derek Cope. Actually, is yeah, 1993. Next up, Ken Schrader, 97 Road to the Cup, when he was driving for Andy Petrie. Lake Speed driving for Harry Melling, 97 Road to the Cup, and 93 Wheels Rookie Thunder, the IROC champion from 92, Ricky Rudd. 95 Max Series 2, we have a Bobby Dodder card. David Smith, former Jackman and later crew chief at Richard Childress Racing. 
91 Max and 94 Max Series 2, Billy Engel, who left uh, left uh, Ricky's team to go to Diamond Ridge Racing because they promised him a ride in the Bush Series, and he ran about four races, and that whole deal just kind of fell apart. Rick Wilson, 94 Max Premier Plus. Of course, he replaced Richard Petty after Richard retired. Billy Hagen, championship-winning car owner. 92 Max Red and 97 Upper Deck Road to the Cup, Jimmy Spencer. Next up, Gatorade Twin 125 victory. I was in high school when this happened. I listened to the whole thing on a small little portable radio with fuzzy headphones and the whole bit. It was a, a really fun experience because he passed for the lead about halfway through and led the whole thing. So his first NASCAR victory... And you can see Brooke, I believe that's Brooke right there, his first wife. They met, that's where they met, Victory Lane. So you have Mark Martin, 93 Press Pass, and Butch Miller, 91 Max. 94 Press Pass, Victory Lane, Dale Jarrett, 92 Black Max, Buddy Baker, and 92 Red Max. I take that back, that's a 98 that's a Max 1998 10th anniversary card. I can tell by the font there on the bottom. And then uh, Brett Bodine 92 Red Max. So there you'll see 1998 Max there on the back versus the 92. Again, look at the fonts. The 92 Black Max, this is actually going to be gold foil. This font is going to be identical to that and just be the last name, and it's not going to have the first name. So few more stacks here. Ricky Rudd, 96 Racer's Choice. That was a Pinnacle brand. 97 Upper Deck Road to the Cup, Gary Bradbury. 93 Press Pass, Jimmy Spencer. Give you quick peeks at the backs of those. I really did like the backs of the, the uh, Racer's Choice because it was a more statistic-oriented set. Their photography on the front wasn't that great. Earl Ross, the only Canadian driver to ever win a Cup Series race at Martinsville. I believe it was 1974. Wheels Rookie Thunder, 1993. We have a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Press Pass Premium, 02. And then a Michael Waltrip, 97 Upper Deck Road to the Cup. We'll flip those over for y'all. Les Richter. I just come across a Les Richter Rams football card many years ago. From, from many years ago. I'll have to find that and show you guys. Um, John Andretti and Bill Davis, 97 Road of the Cup, 95 Max Series 2. Keep this running, just a few more minutes. Sorry this is taking so long, but I'm just, since I know all the sets, I'll give you the info. 93, 92 Max Red, Chuck Bound, 93 Press Pass, Morgan Shepard, 94 Max Premier Plus, Brett Bodine. Show you the backs of those. Then we have Jeff Burton, who works for NBC now, 97 Upper Deck Road to the Cup. Pearson Petty, 93 Wheels Rookie Thunder. And Henry Benfield, former gas man for Junior Johnson, 91 Max. And we have Kyle Petty, 93 Max. Not familiar with this one, but it's 99 Press Pass Stealth. Mike Skinner, big numbers. And Dave Resendez, 1992 Max Red. Of course, Dave drove in his own team in the Bush Series for a number of years. Jack Roush. 96 Classic, yeah, 96, 93 uh, Press Pass, Jeff Gordon, Bobby Labonte, and Kenny Wallace, then 94 VIP, Ward Burton, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, 94 had this orangey gold color foil, and then it has four different pictures of the car on the back with the driver, and there you see the other, other stuff, is that, is that Gordon one just a base set, yeah, that's just a base set. And then our final pack is 93 Press Pass Alan Quickie. I've got this card of Davey Allison. It's uh, it's a non-licensed card, but it's still pretty cool. And then a 1999, which I thought was a 98, but it's actually a 99. A second year VIP Explosive. Or not, no, wheels high gear. I almost said VIP. Second year card of Tony Stewart. Whatever the parallel is to this. I know it's not explosive, but that's VIP. There's the back of the Davy card. You see it's not licensed. I almost called it a bootleg card, but I don't want to be mean, but it is but it is a not a licensed card. 
But anyway, got some really cool stuff in that. I like that Mark Martin and the Terry Labonte autographs. Um, I do have a couple of uh, certified autographs of them, and I have met Terry in person. I have not met Mark in person yet. So one last view. There's that Mark Martin. There's that Terry Labonte. Danny, let me know if you have interest in this one or any of the cards in the stack, because there may be a couple of Gordon cards in there that you don't have, and or Petty cards. I know we, we talked about that as well. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I think tomorrow we'll open up another one of these prism boxes right here, because uh, that, that'll be how we will celebrate the end of the NASCAR season. We will open up another 2020 Panini prism box. I do have some... 2018 Panini certified blaster boxes coming from Blowout Cards, so we'll be opening those when they get in, and then we'll just kind of, kind of go through the next few weeks and see whatever we can, uh, whatever we can score online or whatever we can score along our little journeys. So once again, sorry I didn't mean to make this 16 minutes long. Wow, that's quite a long time. I wonder why I'm getting a little bit winded. But thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Come back and see us tomorrow. Appreciate the support. Everybody have a great rest of your Sunday. Enjoy the race today. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we will see you tomorrow.